Oh, there we go. Well spotted. Well spotted indeed. Lift your head up, please, so we can see if you've got a stripe underneath your throat. Then we'll know if you're a lizard buzzard. Um, so just going back to that. So we're not allowed to view animals without adults around, especially when they are that young. It's like how this hyena den is only open from sunrise safari. And as soon as it gets dark, we close the den again. So no coming in after dark, no spotlighting the animals. It's just the rules out here in the bush. Um, it's not fair to view young young animals with them um, out adult supervision um, if you will so we need to just remember that and respect them we're very privileged enough that we are able to view these animals on a regular basis we don't need to push the limit at all and I would feel terrible if a leopard came through while we were sitting there and then killed the hyena cubs or a lion came through there and then killed the hyena cubs I don't want to be a part of that at all so we'd rather just leave it at that pop in have a look at them quickly and then continue with our drive which little raptor do we have here? I can't see a little stripe underneath its chin just yet, but you can see it looks like it's quite chilly at the moment. It's even got its one leg tucked up underneath its feathers. That just shows you how cold it is. Come on. Unfluff yourself, please. Very busy also looking around. It's obviously waiting to catch something. Now, there's many little raptors of this size. Gabar, goshawks, you get dark chanting goshawks and it's not a dark chanting goshawk I don't think it looks a little bit too small but it could be a lizard buzzard I'm just going to open my app very quickly have a look ah yes I forgot about the shikra Chris Rogue you said is it a shikra let's have a look do you know that I haven't seen a shikra for a long actually a long time I'm trying to remember the last time I saw one it wasn't while I was at work I think it was somewhere else and now I need to try and find it, of course. I'm not winning today with my books and things like that. These little raptors that look the same are so difficult to tell the difference. Let's go to... No, I'm not winning. Let me try and find it in my, my book while we, we stare at it. It is very pretty though and very obliging. Look how its head is constantly moving, looking down on the ground. It's looking for a rodent. <laughs> Sierra, you say a one-legged bird. It is always interesting to see these birds um, when they do look like this, of course, when they've got one leg up in the air. But this just shows you it's chilly. It's not not the warmest day. The clouds, obviously, uh, we're very happy to have the clouds overhead. Let's have a look here. I suppose it could be. I think you might be right. Chris, I think you are. Just those, the, the barring on the breast is obviously quite faded. But I think it is. You thank you. Thank you very much for that. It is. I'm going to go with Shikra too. That's exactly what it looks like. We'll have to go through one of these days. Uh, I'll try and put tags in my books, and we will look at the various differences between the lizard buzzard, between between a Shikra, between a dark chanting goshawk, between a Gabar goshawk, because they all look so similar. I actually, I printed out one for it.